Seen this before? <laughs> you don't know what it is? Oh, this is the fishing industry, this side, but um, we kill about 2.7 trillion marine animals every year. Um, pull them out of the ocean with a lot of bycatch, about 600,000 whales, porpoises, dolphins as bycatch. Um, around 200,000 sharks every day. Um, yeah, you think fish can feel that? So it's scientific consensus that fish feel pain, they suffer, they're sentient, intelligent. Um, they possess a different type of intelligence to humans, but th they are intelligent in their own right, you know. Um, some of the other, other industries that we're talking about are the egg and dairy industries. Um, egg industry kills all male baby chicks on their first day of life, even free-range organic eggs. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Well, they're useless to the egg industry. Okay. So what they do is they separate them, and then they, they either put them in this garbage bag and they suffocate them, or they put them in the macerator, which blends them up while they're, still, while they're fully conscious, they blend them up in this macerator. Um, some stuff on the other screens on the other side, but... So we can oh. eat, eat animals and things that come out of them. We just think that this sort of violence is not justified. Yeah. And um, as you can see, it doesn't make you feel the best. It doesn't make us hungry. We think it's against our That's nature. Alive. Yeah. There's a lot of things that happen to animals while they're still alive. That you, we mutilate cows. Um, we set. We sear the beaks off of chicks. Um, so is this a movement for like just stop stop hurting animals for food and things we and products we don't need? Like so, just like a more of a vegan. It's a vegan thing? movement, yeah. Okay. So all animal products are a product of some type of violence or slavery or suffering, and it's just unnecessary. Like we can live happy and healthy healthy without it. Without, yeah. Plenty of vegan athletes are getting their protein and yeah. come over and check out the other stream. Well, it's interesting. Um, 51% of greenhouse gas emissions are uh, from animal agriculture, so 91% of Amazon deforestation is to cut down the trees to grow soybeans to feed to livestock. Wow. So we're destroying the planet. Uh, ocean dead zones, which is all the sewage, that the, all the poo from the cows and the pigs has to go somewhere. Yeah. And it, they, they put them in these big, like, big pits and it ends up running off into the oceans and it creates these things called dead zones where they're just nitrogen filled and, and life can't be sustained in, yeah. in those parts of the oceans. Um, so, oh, yeah, this, these sort of conditions are quite standard. I mean, this isn't anything out of the, out of the usual. These are farrowing crates where the piglets, um, they can get crushed by their mother in there. They're diseased and they die. Any sick piglets that the, the farmers find, they, they kill them with blunt force trauma. So they grab them by their hind legs and they smack their head on the ground. And that's complete humane standard. That's humane Why do standard. they do that? Because they're either diseased or they haven't grown up big enough. And so, yeah, it's a life of suffering. They're in these uh, sow stalls or farrowing crates for weeks on end. Would you like it? Where is this? Australia. This is in Australia. Yeah, this is, Australia is no better than any other country in the world. No better. Um, I mean, we have this picture in our mind because of all the humane stamps on our milk and oh, free range eggs and the nice grass and all that. Like, there's no legal framework to uh, that pertains to what free range actually is. You know, they can literally call anything free range. Like, yeah, they get their, their tails cut off, their testicles are, are ripped out without anaesthetic. Um, Why are they cut their ears? It's a way of identifying them, ear notching. Um, yeah, they suffer from infections. I mean, the sow mothers, so a sow pig uh, produces the piglets for them, right? And when she can't anymore, she's sent off to, to get minced up for second grade meat, like uh, your mints and you know, sausage rolls and stuff like that. And they suffer longer than uh, eating, an eating pig will be killed around five or six months old. So these, we're talking about children here. The youngest animals that get killed are on their first day of life, but then you've got chickens that are killed six weeks old, and they're like children in an adult's body, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, chicken vigils are the hardest when we see them going into the slaughterhouses. They just look so innocent and vulnerable and anemic and scared and they've got broken legs because they can't support their own body weight because they've been genetically modified. Um, this happens worldwide.
worldwide. So about 56 billion, 60 billion land animals we kill every year, about 2 to 2.7 trillion marine animals. Um, we've got plant-based alternatives these days, like there's no, it's just completely unnecessary. We, it's bad for our health, we know that. Uh, saturated fat, cholesterol, cause heart disease. Um, a vegan's blood is eight times less hospitable to cancer growth. So vegan's blood sort of destroys cancer cells. But um, we know that meat... We, uh, cattle. We, yeah, we, we, I mean, meat might have been... We can eat meat, like, but if we need to. Not because we want to and for this, like, because we like the taste and we're eating it every day, three times a day. Like, this was a, maybe a survival mechanism. We can, we can ingest it if we need to, but, like, we can eat other humans if we needed to, too, but it's just, it's... it's so what do you make of this whole paleo thing? I think that it's a bit ridiculous, to be honest. Like, if we're going to model our behaviour from what cavemen did, like, why don't we model all our behaviour from what cavemen did, you know what I mean? Like... I mean, if cavemen had to eat meat to survive, that's a different story to what we're what, what's happening here on Earth now. Yeah, we've got alternatives. Like you walk into a supermarket, we've got plant-based chicken, plant-based beef, tastes the same. You know, we've got almond milk, rice milk, soy milk. You know, we, yeah, that's how they they kill the male baby chicks. Yeah. Their products at the end of the day, we don't care about their, you know. How do they get footage of this? Activists go in and get it, they leave cameras. Um, they do it secretly. That's the only way, because they, they won't show us. Yeah. They're innocent and vulnerable, these animals. Especially on their first day of life. See, their eggs are right next to them. They've just hatched. Otherwise, they suffocate them or they put, them, they gas them. Yeah. So how long have you been a? a, a nearly four years. Yeah. Full vegan. Full vegan, nearly four years. But um, yeah, I used to eat steak and bacon and eggs for breakfast, pork chops all the time. I didn't even know about animals, and I, you know, like I just didn't even think that this was a thing. Like, and then I start, slowly started to find out about it, and I was like, wait a second, you know. If I claim to care about animals, but I've got a steak on my plate, like it's just pure hypocrisy on my part. Like I feel like I feel like I'm I'm choosing my taste over an animal's a life of suffering and torture for an animal. Like, yeah. and even if a, a farmer said, oh, like, I, I treat my animals really well, like they're, it's a humane farm. At the end of the day, they're still putting a bullet in a happy cow's head. Like that, that cow would want to, you know, sustain its existence. But we're yeah. we're looking at animals like products the same way white people looked at black people like products. Yeah. The same way men belittle. Uh, females, you know, like this, this, it's like this species is a mentality that some species don't matter, dogs do, pigs don't, you know. There's another way, we feel like it's time for us to evolve as a species, there's no need to be barbaric like this anymore, we've got alternatives, we've got amazing alternatives now, it's healthier, it's better for the environment. That's taking the calves away in the dairy industry. This is for meat, uh, for milk and cheese and chocolate. One of the most horrific experiences for um, a maternal animal like a cow. The only time a cow has ever get ever gets violent is when they're trying to defend their calf. And yeah, they they bellow out for days on end after this. Like the males all get killed. The male calves, bobby calves, will get either grown for veal and, and killed, or they're killed immediately. Well, that's killing them. Yeah, bolt gunning them in the head, slitting their throat open. All animals are processed like this. With us, all animals will get stabbed in the throat and drained of their blood. Um, yeah, this is reality. The reality no one sees. And there's a reason they don't show us this, because they they need to make money. Selling us a product. That feeling inside you, man. That, that this is after they've been shot. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. The suffering. There's this hell hole in there. Look at that place. In there, it would stink in there. No air, just a hell hole. I got involved.
majority, the vast majority of animals are produced like this. It's just, it's, it's logis logistically impossible to feed seven billion people animals without it happening like this. Yeah. You know, it's just a, a, a disaster. And we we claim to be compassionate. We claim, claim to be compassionate people, like, and we are. We just a lot of people are just oblivious to this. They don't know what's going on. They did this thing on the fish farms and salmon farms in Tasmania. Yeah. They did this, uh, I think it was on uh, ABC or something. Four Corners. Yeah. No, no. Fuck, dude, you should see that. Fish farms are hellholes oh, too, yeah. yeah. It's just a complete chemical pit. Yeah. It's oh, just shit. Cesspool. I've heard that it's like these fish farms, if you add, add up all their fecal matter, it's equivalent to 1.7 trillion chickens shitting in the ocean at once. Yeah. That's that's like the build up yeah, of their feces. Yeah, it's just like, because it's in a contained area and they're shitting where the, they are. Yeah, and they can't escape prey and predators and they're just, they're getting bitten on the eyes by these parasites and they just can't escape and they're like... I've been doing a bit of research into... <laughs> yeah, and this is what we're faced with, you know. Like, but I've been doing a bit of research into fish intelligence, and they're so much more intelligent than people give them credit for. Like, amazing creatures. And yeah. It's amazing how they get this kind of footage. Courageous activists, and there's this is a small amount of it. There is thousands of hours of this stuff worldwide. You know. So. I'll give you some more information. Cool. Uh, thanks a lot for What's your name, man? Here's some ethic stuff. Okay, dairy, greatest speech you'll ever hear, which is amazing. And this is some um, industry practice. Environment stuff. Okay. okay, what we're doing to the environment is scary, very scary. And health stuff, very important because it doesn't just benefit the animals and the environment, yeah. but it benefits us as well. Yeah, absolutely. If you're ever thinking about it and you want some help, Sign up for 22 Day Vegan Challenge and you'll get assigned a mentor and okay. they'll help you through every every step of the process. So it's an amazing resource. You've got someone there that can be like, oh, where can I get plant-based milk from here? And they'll be like, okay, just go to this place. This is what you can have as an alternative to, to beef and mints and stuff like that. It's awesome. It's funny because we've been thinking about yeah. for a long time becoming vegan. What's stopping you? Yeah, I think it's just laziness. Yeah. And actually just enjoying certain foods. But you're right, it's like, it's, when you see this, man, it's a moral decision, not just a discussion. It's a moral dilemma. Yeah, like that. We don't, like, we can't stop this from happening, but we can stop it from happening in our own lives. Like, we can't stop wars from happening either, but we, we, we doesn't mean we could, should go out and hurt people. Like, like, yeah, everyone has a decision there. We can, we, can, we can talk to the consumer and ask them to stop, and the more people that do that, they'll go out of business. Yeah, that's right. Because without, they're powerless without us. Yeah, that's true. Oh, really nice talking yeah, to you, thanks, man. Thanks, dude. Thanks no for your time. Anytime. Thank you.